Here's our audience. The rest of the men came over from the villas. Welcome to the Bachelorette's Roast. I am your host tonight, Chris Harrison. She's the queen of comedy. Cut her teeth at the Friars Club that created the roast. Give it up for Margaret Cho. Yay! 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 Chris Harrison, no roasting for you, just the um, Jones Brothers Tabernacle Choir. Yes. There's like so many of you. Look at these men. How are you gonna do this? You need to bump up the testosterone. I mean, can you feel the masculinity in coming off in waves over here? Like, it's kind of knocking me out. <laughs> Bennett, with you, I feel like it's you, um, Scare me, Kai. I feel like at some. I feel like at some point there's going to be a true crime podcast about you. I just really, you know, don't kill anybody. So we were all asked to come up here tonight in front of Claire to riff a little bit on the guys in the house. Bennett, my sweet Bennett. <laughs> Bennett was at Harvard with Mark Zuckerberg, and they have a lot in common. They're both pasty white, super rich, and nobody really likes them. <laughs> Kenny, unlike your time on this show, your tattoos are permanent. <laughs> oh. All jokes aside, we are here for Claire. I'm really looking forward to doing this all again at the wedding. I know you're thinking it's between Dale and Claire, but it's, it's my wedding uh, with Claire. Hey. Thank you for letting me be here. Ben killed it today. That's what makes a good joke, is when you can still deliver it, but not hurt somebody's feelings. I love to laugh and have a good time, so come at me with some good material, guys. NFL guy here, Dale. Dale, your last name's Moss, right? I think the only reason teams were signing you is because they thought Randy Moss was your dad. <laughs> and there's just dude Dale, right? Like, oh, but like I get in the limo and it's like Dale. I'm like, bro, there's one Dale and it's Dalai Lama and it ain't you, so like, <laughs> your name is Dale, bro. I was like, dang, they're taking a lot of digs at Dale. Like, is this something I need to be aware of? Is this something I need to know about? What's one thing y'all don't know about Dale? <laughs> Nothing, because he doesn't shut the f up. <laughs> Just on and on and on about Dale to a point where it was uncomfortable. Dale. <laughs> where, oh, where? Do I begin? Oh, take, your take, take your time, Benny. So here's the thing, you know, Dale has been sort of given this front runner word thrown around. I think it's totally ridiculous and complete BS, and Claire needs to hear it. How long do you really think it's going to take Claire to figure out that you're here trying to campaign for president and actually have no interest in her? Zing. Your speeches make absolutely no sense no matter how long you continue your run on sentences. I've witnessed three cameramen collapse after falling asleep listening to you. <laughs> ben is let loose. Anytime you see somebody laughing, it's like, <laughs> you see that little, and it's like they go back to laughing, it hit him. You look like the boa constrictor from the Jungle Book, and it's only a matter of time before Claire snaps out of your spell. <laughs> Everyone that's coming at him, I'm just like, ah, ooh, that, that one hurt, you know what I mean? That, ooh, that one landed a little bit. That one, I felt that one in my soul, I felt that one. Since you've said that you're the best suited for Claire, do me a favor and at least swing by my chateau for a little lesson in fashion before the big day, you big diva. <laughs> Bennett said what all of the guys in the house have been wanting to say. He said what everybody hoped that Claire would one day realize, um, but we didn't know we would actually have an opportunity to say these type of things in front of Claire. That was awkward. Yes. That was the most awkward one, huh? I hope that it allows her to want to ask Dale more questions about himself and who he truly is and why he's truly here. Fellas, what'd you think? Audience? Great job. Good job. Good job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Like, he really went so well. He had three chapters about Dale. It wasn't just, like, jokes. It was, yeah, like, digs. Like and that, yeah, a lot of hostility in that, it felt like. Jealousy? I don't know.